Hi everyone, uh, in this tutorial we will be uh, discussing the uh, different parameters within a specific mode to improve oxygenation and ventilation. In a different uh, tutorial we will be talking about uh, uh, different modes that can be used uh, to improve oxygenation. So for the purpose of this uh, tutorial we will use the Hamilton C6 uh, simulator. And let me walk you through it quickly. We have a mode of uh, pressure control ventilation here. On the right panel here we have the controls, oxygen, PEEP, the pressure control level, and the rate. On the left panel here is what the patient is doing. This is the peak inspiratory pressure, the uh, expiratory minute uh, volume, the expiratory tidal volume, the respiratory rate, and the time constant, respiratory time constant. In the uh, middle uh, monitor here, we see the uh, saturation of 83%, the internal CO2 of 66 millimeter mercury. At the same time, you have uh, the static compliance of the lung around 14, and you have the uh, airway resistance, which is normal. Of course, you have the uh, pressure over time curve and the flow over time curve and some other parameters in this panel here. Our goal in this uh, tutorial is to uh, see how we can improve oxygenation and the determinants uh, of oxygenation as you probably know uh, are the FiO2 number one and number two the mean airway pressure. So I'm going to explain what do we mean by the mean airway pressure it's uh, essentially similar to the mean arterial pressure and uh, if we look at the pressure over time curve this area under this uh, pressure line would be the area under uh, the curve I'm just going to highlight it and this would be all responsible for oxygenation the more area under the curve we have the higher or the better oxygenation. So our aim would be to improve that area under the curve. And the way we do this would be number one is by increasing the PEEP. If we have a higher PEEP, you would be able to lift up the whole line up to a higher level, which is the, the PEEP level. Number two is the peak pressure in pressure control ventilation or the tidal volume in volume control ventilation. And number three would be the inspiratory time. The longer the inspiratory time, the higher mean airway pressure. Number four is the rise time. We can get up to the peak pressure faster and more steeper, so we can gain some of this area under the curve that can participate in oxygenation. And the last thing would be the rate. The higher the rate that we have per minute, the higher mean air pressure that we're going to be able to obtain. So notice that uh, the uh, saturation is down to 79%. The entire CO2 is 83 and we have a static compliance of 13.1. The mean air pressure is at 14 centimeter. So we're going to go ahead and improve oxygenation first by increasing the FiO2 all the way to 100%. So you can see that the SpO2 started to increase and we we'll go ahead and uh, work with the mean airway pressure. We're at 86% uh, so we really need to push that mean airway pressure higher. We're uh, with uh, mean air pressure at 40 cm of water right now. The first thing that I'm going to do is go up on the peep. We'll do 2 cm at a time. So this is up to 10. With this increase in the PEEP, uh, the mean air pressure increased to 16 and we increased the area under the curve. That improved uh, oxygenation slightly, compliance slightly increased, and the tidal volume uh, improved uh, as a result of increased uh, compliance. We are at 4.5 uh, ml per kg of ideal body weight, 91% SpO2. Uh, entire CO2 in 
removed. We will go ahead and increase the beep even further to 12 and observe the compliance along with the saturation. Compliance is increasing. The mean air pressure is increased to uh, 18. The tidal volume is around 300 at uh, 4.7 ml per kg of ideal body weight. Saturation has improved to 96% and tidal CO2 decreased as a result of uh, improvement in the tidal volume. So now we start going down on the FiO2. Uh, eventually we're going to go down to 60%. So I will do it all the way down to 60%. and we'll uh, monitor the saturation. So we have improved the mean area pressure, oxygenation improved, we were able to go down on the FiO2. If I need to uh, further increase the mean airway pressure, the next thing that I can do is uh, work with the peak pressure here. However, the peak pressure is at uh, 31, that uh, will not give me much room to uh, increase it. The the estimated plateau pressure is probably around 28 since his uh, airway resistance is normal so I will not touch the uh, peak pressure the third thing that I can do is extend the inspirator time and add more uh, to the area under the curve here so I will go up on the inspiratory time to 1.2 seconds and notice that uh, the mean air pressure uh, will go up uh, slightly as we are extending this uh, inspiratory time since we added more uh, area under the curve uh, with this increase. Now saturation is at uh, 91%. Uh, the fourth thing that I can do is uh, I want to get rid of this uh, slow rise uh, time. So I'm going to go back to controls and decrease the ramp for this uh, patient down to 80 and you can see how the rise time is uh, now sharper compared to previously we added a little bit it will not affect uh, mean air pressure much but just to maximize everything and be complete saturation is still around 91 percent and entire co2 is around 47 uh, millimeter mercury the last thing that i can do is increase the rate and with increasing the rate from uh, 80 to 22 take a look on the mean error pressure now we added more press per uh, minute mean error pressure is increased and with this we improve ventilation we increase the minute ventilation for the patient and uh, the entire co2 started to get uh, better saturation is at 92 percent so i think we're doing uh, better uh, I can start going down on the uh, FI2 even further. So with this, I would like to summarize what we've done. Uh, in order to improve oxygenation, uh, first uh, we increased the FI2, and then we worked with the parameters for the mean airway pressure, starting with the PEEP, and uh, maximizing the peak inspiratory pressure, prolonging the uh, inspiratory time, maximizing the rise time, and increasing the rate. We've done all this within the uh, limitations of uh, protective flux strategy, keeping the plateau pressure less than 30, the driving pressure less than uh, 15, appropriate peak for the patient, and tidal volume of uh, 4 to 6 ml per kg. Thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe to this channel if you'd like to receive future notices about uh, other tutorials. Thank you.